Hello folks, as you probably know, Apple takes a cautious approach when it comes to transitioning to new components and likes to squeeze out every last one of performance from existing hardware before embracing new technologies. The screen size of its high-end phones haven't changed since 2020's iPhone 12. Next year is when we can expect to see bigger displays on the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. Bloomberg's esteemed journalist Mark Gurman explains why the company has decided to increase the screen size. Gurman has corroborated an earlier report that said that next year's Pro and Pro Max models will be slightly bigger than the existing variants, the iPhone 14 Pro, which has a 6.1-inch screen, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which sports a 6.7-inch display. Gurman hasn't mentioned the exact specs and only revealed that the size will increase by a couple tenths of an inch diagonally, but trusted analyst Ross Young implied a few days back that the iPhone 16 Pro will have a screen measuring around 6.3 inches and the Pro Max would feature a 6.9-inch screen. He also said that the aspect ratio would increase slightly. When asked by a reader about the reason behind the size increase, Gaiman replied that it would bring them closer to Samsung's premium conventional phones, likely referring to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which rocks a 6.8-inch screen, and the Galaxy S23 Plus, which comes with a 6.6-inch panel. And it's not just about matching the specs of Samsung's best phones. The current models don't have enough room for better components. Just recently, a rumor said that Apple would be making changes to the iPhone 14 Pro Max's camera layout to accommodate the new periscope lens, but no amount of moving around components will create space for the new telephoto lens in the iPhone 15 Pro. Aside from the cameras, bigger phones would also allow for bigger batteries. After all, with the increasing load on the processor every year, the company has fewer options to maintain or increase battery life by optimizing and cutting functionality. The Samsung Galaxy S23 series has already matched the iPhone 14 series in terms of battery life, and Apple certainly needs to do something about it. It is also worth saying that users have been waiting for big updates for the iPhone. Although the iPhone 14 series is doing better than the iPhone 13 family, it wasn't exactly a groundbreaking update, and per one report, consumers think it was the most disappointing model since the iPhone 5. At the same time, an increasing number of Android users are switching to the iPhone, so Apple has an opportunity here to get more people to switch by providing what Android users have always loved, great specs and features that make the best Android phones exciting. A recent report also said that a bigger sensor that was previously believed to be destined for the iPhone 15 Pro Max is actually meant for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, so it looks like the company has big plans for the iPhone 16. A larger screen, bigger battery, a new camera would surely entice more people to ditch Android, unless Samsung comes up with something new, which we know it always does. Therefore, I personally always welcome upgrades to the iPhone, because this should mean that Samsung will become even better. So, there are exciting releases coming up that will ultimately benefit all of us, whether you prefer Apple or Android, so consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching, please share this video with your friends, see you in the next one, good luck to all!